What's up everybody? I am Ghost Boy. And uh now if if you're one of the viewers who have been watching the other series so far, Bioshock and Skyrim, I'm not sure if this exactly will be your cup of tea. Um it, Final Fantasy is a bit of a hard series to get into, at least it was for me. Uh, because there are so many different starting points. I mean, you could start from any of the, like, 20 games. Uh, I'm gonna keep talking as this plays, but I, for me, whenever I play big series like this, The Elder Scrolls is an exception because I'm not exactly sure how to get a hold of the early, uh, Elder Scrolls games, but... At least with Final Fantasy and Bioshock, I think it's best to start with the very first game and go from there. Um, now, no, that doesn't mean that you have to watch them in order like that. You know, you can watch whichever one you want. But I'm talking about in terms of me actually playing the games. I think it's going to be best for me to uh, just start in order. Um... But basically, I don't I don't know if you're reading the text on here, but it it's pretty much talking about how the world is like dying, and only these warriors of light, the four warriors of light that are foretold in a prophecy, can save the world, pretty much. And that type of story is going to be pretty common in Final Fantasy games. So uh, when it comes to these games. I'm pretty much, if they're available, I'm pretty much going to play the remakes. Now, Final Fantasy VII is an exception because I have Final Fantasy VII remastered on, uh, on my Xbox. Now, because I have the remastered version, I don't necessarily know if or when I'll get the Final Fantasy VII remake that's going to be coming out. We'll see. Uh, right now, I don't have the money for it. But, you know. But uh, I think I'm gonna stop talking and get into it. Well, I'm gonna keep talking, but just... I'm gonna drop that particular train of thought. Okay, so... Um, when it comes to making my party, I mean, you can make your party basically any way you want. Uh, there are people who just do all warriors. And then there are people like, you know, I don't like to have more than one of any one particular class. So, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to go with. I think I want to have a warrior. Uh, the way I beat it last time was I had a monk, a thief, a red mage, and a white mage. But I don't know if I'll do that this time. I picked the name Kellen because that actually comes from Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Amia, and I used to love that game when I was younger. I still love it, uh, don't really play it, you know, anymore, but that's mostly because I let my cousin Caleb borrow my games, and I still, you know, I haven't gone to get him back yet, so. Uh, last I asked, he said he still had them, so. I'm hoping they're still with him. You know. It's not that he's like... I don't think he's unreliable or anything. It's just... You never know. The winds die. The seas rage. So do I. Not gonna lie. The earth decays. But the people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. After a long journey, four young travelers did at last appear. And in the hand of each was clutched a crystal. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay, so... Um, let's see. It doesn't really matter which way we do it. Uh, just to show you... what We'll be back to Castle Cornet... Uh, the castle eventually. Just to show you... Uh, this is what happens when you talk to these guards on the outskirts. They're going to be blocking every exit uh, out of the city. So you have to talk to them. And don't worry about going into any of the shops because we don't really have a whole lot of money to work with right now. We have 500, but that's not going to get us much of anything. So just talk to one of the guards. And they'll say, the king is searching for the prophesied warriors of light. The, those crystals. You must see the king at once. And then they'll take you into the castle. Directly to talk to the king. Welcome, travelers. I am told you carry crystals. Is this true? And then we show them the crystals. It's just as Lucan's prophecy foretold. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. So yeah, we're the ones who are supposed to save the world. Of course, we're the main characters of the video game. Your Majesty, we cannot be certain that these are the warriors foretold by the prophecy. Yet they stand before us with the crystals. I cannot dismiss this as mere coincidence. Crystal bearers. There is, an a there is a task I would ask of you. Will you not rescue my daughter, Sarah? Garland, a knight once in his majesty's service, has abducted Princess Sarah. I ask for your aid in the name of his majesty, the King of Cornelia. Garland has taken refuge in the Chaos Shrine, which lies to our north. Of course, we did attempt to save the princess ourselves, but Garland is the finest swordsman in the kingdom. We have none who can match him. I have heard that you wish to journey to the continent to our north. The bridge leading north was lost long ago, making passage impossible. If you can rescue Sarah, I will have the built bridge rebuilt as a sign of my gratitude. Go now, warriors of light, and do not fail me. Okay, so basically that's our mission. We gotta find Garland and defeat him. And then, uh, give me a second. I'm gonna change something in the settings. Uh, gonna change that to that, and then do that. And then that should be about it. Um, okay. So, uh, like they said, the Chaos Shrine is to the north of Cornelia. Um, we're gonna want better equipment, so we need to get money by defeating monsters in the wild. So, uh, here is what the combat looks like. Uh, it's gonna be hard to find a corner where I can put my webcam, but I might just leave it where it is, because I don't see anywhere else I can put it. But, uh, yeah, so here's a little taste of what the combat is like. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the battling I'll be cutting out and how much I'll be leaving in. Let's see. But for the early game, we're just going to need to get a little bit of money. Well, I say early game, I mean right now. I just need to get some money, get some better equipment, so that we can take on Garland whenever we venture upwards to the Chaos Shrine. And then, uh, like you just saw, if you have them target the same uh, enemy, but that enemy dies before the rest of them can attack it, they won't just miss and attack empty space. They will auto-target the a random enemy out of whoever's less left. So sometimes it's best to have them target the same enemy, and then sometimes it's best 
to uh, to have them each target their own enemy. It just kind of depends. Sometimes it doesn't really make a difference, but yeah. And then, uh, as you can see, the maximum health for all the characters went up. That's because we all went up a level. And I'm hoping that none of the characters faints. Because, uh, if they faint, that means that they miss out on experience after a battle is won. And it doesn't really matter that much, but I'd like to keep them all even. Well, I say even, I mean, uh, equal. Because they all take the same amount of experience for each level to level up. Like, obviously, each level will take more and more experience, but each character, it doesn't matter what class it is, uh, each individual, like, whatever level it is, takes the same amount of experience each time to get to the next level. Um, let's see, the only one that can wear chainmail is our red mage. I'm not sure if I want to buy armor or weapons. Uh, the nunchucks are good for the monk, obviously. It shows you little arrows to say, uh, this weapon is better for this character than what they already have. And then if it shows an equal sign, that means it's equal to what they already have. Pretty obvious. But, uh, I don't... Well, the weapons are cheap, so I'm gonna go ahead and get weapons. Uh, the staff is better. Okay, so two rapiers. Or rapiers, I'm, I'm not sure how you'd say it. And then hammer. And so, uh, we can go into the equipment menu, hit optimal for each character, and it'll give them the best weapon. Now, eventually, the monk is going to get to a point where he's better with his bare hands than he is with the nunchucks. But that won't be for a while. I think it's not until, like, level 20-something. So until then, we don't really need to worry about it. We just need to get them the best weapons possible. And then for the leather armor, we just need two of those because the other one, uh, our red mage is going to get chain mail. And then we can check out the magic. Um, we do want to get cure for sure. And then we can get Dia as well. It's a situational spell. If you're fighting all undead enemies, like every single one of them is like a skeleton or a zombie or a ghoul or something, Dia does save some time. Um, I'm not sure. How, let's see. Either of these can be helpful too, but unlike in future games, in this game you have to cast it individually. So, uh, protect. In other games, you can select all of your party members and raise all of their defense, and that's especially useful in boss battles. But in this game, you have to do it individually, one by one. And so that basically renders your white mage's turn. Like, that. that's it. All you're doing is casting protect. So, you know, it, it's a lot slower and not not as effective but raising defense is a useful thing to do especially especially like i said in boss battles so i think normally i wouldn't but i think i'm gonna use my second level one spell slot for protect and then lastly i'm gonna get dia or dia i'm not exactly sure how you'd pronounce it but i'm gonna say dia And then with uh, black, black magic, uh, you can get various offensive spells and then ones that uh, cast a status effect on your opponent. For example, like putting them to sleep or making them less evasive. So that's, that's the difference between white magic and black magic. Uh, pretty much the only offensive, I want to say the only offensive white magic spell is Dia and it's various stronger incarnations 
but that makes sense because you're using it against undead enemies. Sounds pretty fair to me. Um, I think I'm going to go for fire. Fire is also really effective against undead enemies. And then thunder later on for whenever we face aquatic enemies. Sleep and focus, I'm not really sure I'm going to use. So I don't think I'm going to get either of those. But I think that's all of our magic and gear taken care of. And then we can get some items, but the items are the thing that will take up the majority of our uh, of our money. And we don't even have enough for a phoenix down, so I'm not sure why I pressed that. Partially restores party's HP. Um, I think I'm going to skip out on that. I'll buy some potions. Uh, I only have enough for three. But uh, I'm actually going to start making my way up towards the... Oh, wait. I didn't heal. Uh, hopefully... Oh, I don't have enough. Well, looks like I need to defeat some more monsters. I probably shouldn't have spent quite that much money. But it's alright. We'll make it. Oh, wait. Did I already use... Oh, I already used the inn. That's why. Huh. Huh. My bad. Okay, so we're going to start making our way upwards towards the Chaos Shrine. And then uh, we're probably going to come across some Gigas Worms. Those are pretty strong. Uh, they have more health than these weaker enemies that we're facing down here. Uh, but part of... Making your way up here is just taking that risk of encountering those Gigas Worms. Hopefully we'll get into the castle before we come across those. And then uh, there is a way I can speed up the gameplay. So if y'all want me to do that whenever I'm just making my way from one place to another and coming across a bunch of different r random enemies. I can do that. Uh, and I'm not talking about in post. I'm talking about like in game. So I can do that. But uh, for this episode, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. And then uh, I know I'm talking really technical about the game, but I don't want it to come off like I think I, I'm an expert. Because actually, you know, my knowledge of Final Fantasy, at least the Final Fantasy series in comparison to other game series, is actually not that much. Oh, we're getting to stronger enemies. Okay, so we outnumber them, so I think we'll be fine. And then you saw how those arrows, well, if I was gonna cast Dia on the skeletons would have uh, been casted on both of them. Uh, in future games, you can manually do that. But you can't do that in this one. I don't know if it's a matter of like how, what level the spell is. I'm pretty sure you just can't do it, period. So, yeah. And we did get a leather, leather cap. That will save us a little bit of... Uh, little bit of money and then I f forgot that I hadn't equipped the optimal armor for the rest of them <laughs> that probably would have saved me f some uh, HP wouldn't it but it's okay we're still alive and then I do have the cure spell so as long as I don't waste a whole bunch of MP we will be able to heal and then I just got another potion, uh, and I can use that tent, but I don't really see it necessary to use it this early on. You can use it though, uh, if you're new to the game and you just don't want to risk dying before you go fight Garland. You can use it. We went up another level. That's good, I think we should be almost ready to take on Garland. Um... 
restores 50 HP. In future games, it'll say, like, restores a small amount of HP instead of a set number, uh, which basically dictates the random number that will be generated as far as exactly how many points of HP you recover. But in this game, it's a set value every single time. It's just, uh, it's just 50 for the small potions, and then high potions give you 150. And then Dio won't work on the wolves, because they're not undead. They're just regular wolves. So we're just gonna have to beat them the old-fashioned way. Which is pretty much what I've been doing for all- for the rest of them anyways, even if they are undead. Because the white mage, Anne, is not- not all that fast. So the rest of the team, you know, already get to attack the enemies and kill them before she even gets the chance to cast Dia. It's not really her fault. That's just the nature of the classes. Okay, so towards the... Oh, oops. I'm not where I thought I was. I'm going to have to go back down. Uh, we want to get into that room that's right under me. I say under because we're looking from a top-down perspective. We just went up another level. That was quick. I guess that's just how strong these enemies are. Um, definitely... Well, I say definitely. I'm going to want to heal Kellen. Uh, because he's within range of getting one shot by Garland, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Well, I say that because just in general, bo boss fights, you know, the boss enemies just tend to be strong enough to one-hit your characters, so I just don't want to risk it. I don't exactly remember how strong Garland is, but just in case, we're not risking it. And I'm going to give Kellen a potion. And then I have some... Uh, MP with Anne, so I think I might have her heal uh, Duncan. I'm not exactly sure why I chose the name Duncan or if it was randomly generated for the monk because you can uh, use you can't have a random name set. See, uh, like the cure spell right there says restores a little HP and then it has a random value of how much it, HP it actually heals. Uh, that's how potions are going to be in later games in the Final Fantasy series. Uh, Final Fantasy 2 to be specific. Um, I think we're good. I actually don't have any potions left do I huh I didn't think about that well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maybe she'll be all right Ashley she should be okay probably gonna regret that but whatever all right let's fight Garland the king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life Cornelia will be mine Who's there? Hmph, <laughs> the king's lapdogs. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? You really think you have what it takes to cross swords with me? Very well. I, Garland, will knock you all down! Not exactly the most threatening threat, but whatever. Alright, so basically, we're just gonna whoop his ass. I'm um, gonna start casting Protect on everyone, one by one. Starting with Duncan. Oh, Garland's not quite as strong as I thought. Or maybe he just hasn't used his strongest attack yet. I don't know. Fire. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We are good. 
We will be fine. Especially if I get protect cast on everybody like I want to. And I think I will. I might... Let's see, I'm gonna have just enough MP to be able to do it. Because it's gonna take th three, I think. Yeah. I have just enough to get it cast on everybody. See, that's the problem. Is that, um... In Final Fantasy 2, well, we just beat Garland. And, uh, he actually wasn't as, thre as threatening as you might have thought. But, uh, well, a lot of that has to do with the fact that we had the right equipment. You... you've come to rescue me? I don't know how I can ever thank you. I am Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. I can't do a female voice, so I'm not trying to. That's the first time anyone's ever defeated Garland. You must allow me to show my gratitude. Please, accompany me to Castle Cornelia. I don't remember what I was talking about before I read Sarah's dialogue, I'm sorry. Thank you for returning my daughter to my side. There can be no doubt that you are the Warriors of Light from Lucan's prophecy. You should hear the prophecy in its entirety. Ahem. If I may. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume all. The four crystals will never shine again. Now, I hear that a crystal can be found on the continent to our north. Restoring light to the crystals is our only hope of ridding the world of the monsters which plague it. I will have the bridge to the north rebuilt, as I promised. I pray that you succeed in restoring light to the four crystals, and to the world. Okay. Wait just a moment. This loot has been entrusted to the princesses of Cornelia for many cent cent generations, I almost said centuries. When he had abducted me, Garland took this loot as well. I want you to have it. It may aid you in your journey. You obtained the loot. I'll be honest, I have no idea what the loot does. I'm pretty sure there's no plot point that needs it. Maybe it's an after game thing? I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember any plot point that required it. And now they're going to be re rebuilding the bridge. But like I was saying before, part of uh, what made Garland's fight so easy is that we just had the right equipment. Orders from His Majesty. We're to do our part to def bleh, to to. Why did I do that again? To fulfill Lucan's prophecy. Now they're working overtime. They're getting at it. They're hauling some ass, honestly. Not bad. But yeah, this entire section is basically just the prologue. So, once we cross the bridge, uh, that'll be pretty much the end of the prof- Or, not prophecy. Uh, prologue. And the end of the episode. What does this bridge have to do with the pro prophecy? Sorry, I keep stumbling on the dialogue. The four warriors of light are here. They're here in Cornelia. Excuse the amateur accent. But I'm trying. Trying to distinguish voices. I don't know. Of course, these pieces of crap had to kill the pacing. There we go. <clears throat> This part's a little, little long. And so their quest began. As the four warriors of light, they felt overwhelmed by the great task destiny had placed before them. I wish I could make the text speed up. They did not even know the true significance of the four crystals they held in their hands.
the crystals that once, long ago, held a light that shone so brilliantly. The time for their journey had come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into light. No, I don't have a watch. It's called a joke. Final Fantasy! Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna do, but my main goal here is to just play games that I like and not really worry about how popular it's gonna be. Um, obviously, if it's more popular, I'll be more uh, incentivized to make episodes of this on a more regular basis, but considering the other games I already have up, I really don't see this being the blockbuster, you know, top series, but I'm still gonna do it anyways. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save here, and, um, let's see, oh, that's our, let's see, I did have... I don't remember who was named what. Oh, they're the same names. Cool. Huh, I forgot. So yeah, that's my save file from when I beat the game last. And uh, as you can see, the maximum gold amount is 999,999. So one off from a million, because that's just the limit of the numbers that they have to be able to record that. So uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to replicate the same kind of success as you can see by the end of the boss battle when I played last on my own without recording it uh, my red mage had died and my monk had died uh, but my my feet or my ninja or well master uh, red wizard White Wizard and Ninja. These are basically going to be the evolved forms of the characters we have now later on. But, um, yeah, I don't remember exactly how that battle went. I don't know. I think I kept trying to revive Lazarin and Duncan, but, uh, the boss just kept killing them before I could get them to a good amount of health. And here's my kitty. He's a sweet boy. But, uh, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed. And, uh, I'm gonna keep doing more episodes of this. Uh, I'll just wait and see how well it does. So, until then. Peace.